Wednesday my nurse phase. My name is Brittany and today you are watching a dose of nurse day. So um, I just got home y'all got a little bit of makeup on so I might as well go ahead and shoot a video for y'all right. So today's topic is going to be one that is really really important in the field of nursing and that is how to deal with the stress of nursing. I'm just going to give it to you straight. Nursing can be extremely stressful. Nursing can affect your sleep Nursing can affect um, your mood. It can affect your entire life if you are not careful. Um, it's a high stress, fast paced environment that you work in oftentimes. Um, your patient ratios can be ridiculous. Your nurse to patient ratios. Um, sometimes you can feel like you're not supported. You can go a whole day without getting a lunch break. Um, oftentimes, you know, nurses have to be the therapist, they have to be the nurse, they have to be the, the maintenance man, they have to be everything. So if you're not careful, um, you can end up feeling really drained and burnt out being a nurse. Um, as rewarding as it can be in some aspects, you have to make sure that you are pouring back into yourself so that the stress of the job, just the nature of the job can be stressful. You have to make sure that you're doing your due diligence and your self-care so that you can thrive. So we are gonna go over a few things that are absolute vitals, non-negotiables for nurses. Number one, start your day the way that you want it to be. If you are not naturally a person who wakes up early, um, you need to set an alarm. You need to make sure that you are starting off um, in a smart way, meaning you're able to get some breakfast in, you're able to maybe do a little stretching, you're able to read a book, you're able to do your meditation and your prayers before you head into the nurse into the workplace. Because once you're in the workplace, you know how it is, you hit the floor running. So if you're already starting from an empty tank, it's just not going to be good for you. So number one is to start your day off on the right foot okay um the most 30 minutes of your day the first 30 minutes of the of your day pretty much dictates how your day is going to go so are you starting off you know hitting the snooze button um running behind just not doing what you say that you're going to do try to work on that the next thing that i would suggest for you as a nurse would be to carry things that remind you of um your purpose I used to make little flashcards or I used to carry with me flashcards with quotes, verses, just little memos that reminded me of my divine purpose um, and my reason for being here. And I would clip that card to my WOW, which is called a, some people know as a um, computer on wheels. They used to call it a cow, but patients thought they were being called cow. So now we can't call it a cow, we call it WOW. Anyways, I would bring that with me um, and whenever things were getting tough or stressful, I would pull out my verse or um, pull out that quote that was really meaningful to me and I would just take a minute and um, just meditate on those words and let them sink in. So it was kind of like a therapeutic session um, while I'm literally still working. Another thing that I would suggest nurses do, and I am kind of popping all over, this, it's not necessarily going to be in order. Um, will be to invest in a masseuse. I have a membership. Um, actually, I canceled it because of COVID and I couldn't go, but I'm about to re-get it started. But I, I have had a membership with the massage parlor since I first started nursing. It's an absolute necessary um, thing for nurses to do because you are bending over, you're doing uh, movements that are repetitious. So over time, that stuff takes a toll on your body. It's very important for nurses to um, work on their uh, mobility and make sure that they maintain their flexibility um, and make sure that everything is still flowing and circulating, the blood is circulating the way that it should. So I would invest in a good massage parlor um, a, a good masseuse that can just kind of help keep you right because that tension in your body I'm telling you over time it'll have you jacked up trust me I will probably share some nursing stories uh, with you one day um, about how bad things got and why I had to start going to a masseuse it was not an option for me um 
another thing that you want to do when you're at work is as much as possible try to stay positive there's things you can do you can make sure that your outfit is cute you know it can be little things like you wear colors that you like you paint your nails a color that you like you wear positive bright scrubs um you bring in some donuts or you bring in you know something for the staff just to kind of get the positivity flowing um and then you just try to maintain throughout the day. It's very important. Once you are down, it's hard to kind of dig yourself out, especially if you're around um, people who are low energy and um, who don't realize that that complaining and that negativity, it just keeps you in a, in a bad place. So you want to be getting there, setting the tone for how you want your day to be, um, like we talked about earlier, and just doing your best to keep in a positive mindset. Um, let it go. I actually wear a, a band. It's called a mantra band. Whenever I have a, a doubtful feeling or fearful feeling or just low vibrational thought that just comes into my mind, what I do is I snap that band, boom, like that. And I redirect that thought to something positive. Your mind is very powerful. Your words are powerful. Your thoughts are powerful. Thoughts become things. So it is important that you are mindful of where you are allowing your thoughts to go, okay? So no, you can't control every single thought that pops in your head, but you can control the thing that you do right after you get it, which is, um, you know, marinate on it or immediately reject it, change it, redirect it to something that is constructive. Um, some other things that you can do uh, to try to not succumb to the stress of nursing is know your stuff. If you know that you're a little dusty in an area, you know, don't be afraid to pop open that textbook and dive in, you know, become a expert of what you do. If you work, I worked in labor and delivery. There was times when I had to open up a textbook and, and learn some things, research, go back if something was hazy or I wasn't sure about something. It makes you, the more you know, the more confident you feel. The more you know, the less people can tell you BS. Okay, so um, don't be, don't, you know, this is what you do. Even if it's not going to be your forever job, like you know that maybe this is not what you're gonna be doing forever. I heard a quote um, and it said, the way that you do anything is the way that you do everything. So just keep that in mind when it comes to your craft, okay? Because you are a healthcare professional and people rely on you. Um, you should be giving them quality service to the best of your ability not only for them but also for you knowing that anything any experience is going to help benefit you in some type of way you know i always feel like nurses can literally do anything nurses do everything and they can do anything okay if you're a nurse like there's nothing that can stop you once you put your mind to what you're going to do so um is there anything else there's definitely a lot of more things that you can do to handle the stress of nursing um don't involve yourself in workplace dramas just go to work, do your job, and zip out of there, okay? Don't be around low vibrational, negative energy people that suck you dry and just keep you in a bad state, you know? You don't want to be mentally in a state where you are attracting negative things. Um, so as much as you can, try to, you know, not entertain things like that. Also, if, if you don't like where you are, please do your best to change that. If you have an area of interest in nursing that you know you want to go into, go talk to that nurse manager. Go, you know, take a walk on that unit and inquire if they're hiring. Go introduce yourself so that one day when they are hiring, you know, the manager can remember that you were looking for a position. You know, um, there's little things that you can do to just try to set yourself up for when that opportunity comes. Don't hesitate to apply for the job that you want. I remember in nursing school, they told us we should do med search first. Uh -huh. I don't believe that. I do not agree with that. It doesn't resonate with my spirit. If you know that there's something that you want to do, don't limit yourself. Go for it. If it doesn't happen right away, it's okay, but keep trying. I applied for um, when I was in a nursing position that I didn't like. I applied for my labor and delivery um, nursing position like five or six times before I got an interview. And um, eventually I decided that that wasn't my end goal either and I went and studied 
got my certification as an international board certified lactation and now i am truly 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 enjoying my job which is something that i can say um, that is i'm saying for the first time in my um, adult life so if you don't like where you're at change it follow your dream even if it's not in nursing if you want to cook if you want to sing if you want to write start doing those things on the side start performing at little um you know comedy clubs once they open back up um if you have a book in your heart, write that book. I actually wrote a children's book. It was the best thing that I ever did. It's something that I always wanted to do and I plan to write more. Um, and I have a blueprint for how you can publish your own children's book. If you are interested in that, you can check out my website, www.BrittanyKissBooks.com. Um, but with that being said, y'all, it's, it's really just about your mindset. Okay, you have to do everything in your power to protect your peace. Okay, even the smallest little things that you can do. I love bringing tea with me to work because when things are really starting to get frustrating, you know what? I'm gonna take a break, I'm just gonna take a minute, little five, ten minute break, and I'm gonna have a cup of tea. And in that moment, I'm gonna think about my purpose, I'm gonna think about the direction that I want to go into my life, and I'm going to focus on those things instead of the things that um, are paining me. Okay. <laughs> And I feel like if you apply some of these things, it might really help you in your journey. Oh, and watch positive content. Find YouTubers. Find other nurses um, who have, you know, gone through things, felt the same way as you, and overcome. All right? Don't find negative Nancys. Find positive people to, uh, to uh, surround yourself with and um, just allowing yourself with things that you desire. All right. So... I'm pretty tired y'all i hope that you found this video helpful if you liked please give me a thumbs up go ahead and subscribe if you would like to hear more from me you can follow me on instagram at Brittany underscore k dot i dot s and um you can also follow my page at Brittany kiss books on ig and if you like this video if you have tips that you feel like would be helpful or beneficial to a fellow nurse or just a person that's on this page, please, please feel free to drop it in the comments below. Sharing is caring. Each one teach one, all right? Till next time, y'all. Be blessed.